I think Amazon might have delivered something. What do you yeah. think it is? I don't know. <gasps> What's that? It's Ooh! the quad stuff. Guess what time it is? Quad. <laughs> Busy Bees disclaimer, we make no warranties, guarantees, expressed or implied. We highly recommend you don't do this at home. But this is how we did it. What do you think? Good. Quad modifying time. <laughs> All right, let's go. Keep this one up. This old power wheel battery is totally dead. We're gonna recycle it. But what I want to cannibalize out of here before I recycle this at Home Depot is this black connector in here. So, supposedly, you can pop these off. Cannibalizing the connector out of the old power wheel battery to use for my replacement Neptune battery so that I can use the old power wheel charger and then it's plug and play into any of my power wheels. Or you can just buy a new one on Amazon for 15 bucks. This This is going to Home Depot to get recycled. I did order some extra caps, just it was like two bucks for these. Um, probably good to have around if you're modifying stuff. So we cannibalized the connector out of the old battery. So we bought a pack of fuses. going to incorporate in here. These are 30 amp. Just right in there. Cut that there. So on these, white is positive, so we will put the fuse on the positive, and black is negative. And then I was able to get bag of connectors and you gotta have a voltmeter so we're gonna take one of our Neptune batteries and unwrap it so with your voltmeter we're gonna use the 200 volt DC voltage because this is DC batteries. Now these, pop these caps off, they just slide right off. These Neptune batteries are supposed to come from the factory charged. So we are going to start with just one battery for now and see how it does. So we are going to strip a little bit off of this.
put our connector on. I got female connectors and male connectors. Alright. Oh, look at that. I'll also put a link to these. I have these laying around. These are just a standard butt connector. So on the positive side, we're gonna hook the butt connector on. This goes in there like that. Make sure you have a crimping tool. good doesn't come off and we're gonna put the fuse on the positive side all right so the fuse is on there so on this, for this purpose, I'm just going to put two females on and then we just got to make sure we watch that when we go to soup the power up more, when we go to wire it together, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we just stole the connector out of here, crimped in a fuse and crimped on two female ends that we're gonna put on here. So now we're gonna see negative, which is black. We're gonna hook that up to there. I did that backwards. You're supposed to hook the positive up first. All right, ready to try this? Yeah. Let's bring the quad over. Let's open it up. Alright. Here. Hold this for a second. Chain it. Chain it in here. So we're just going to set this battery down in here. Now to go 24 volts, we're gonna need a little piece of wire. Now this is like a 12 gauge. We're gonna strip this. All right, Neptune batteries. I'll let you know how these hold up. Get another one of these out. Um, we're going to 
put on our air connectors. All the links will be down below for all the fun stuff we bought. All right, so we're gonna get two females. What I think I'm gonna do, because I gotta go from the positive to the negative on the other battery. I think all I do is go like this. So this is how, so we're taking two female pieces on both ends, we're just crimping together a little wire, we're making sure this is all good. Alright, so what we're doing is we're going to go from positive on one battery, right? Back up just a little bit, show the whole batteries right there to the negative on the other right this is a little loose so I'm gonna tighten this up just a little bit by squeezing in the middle you want your connections to be nice and tight all right now we got to finish out our circuit with our connector so we're gonna go from here. This connector is a little loose. So what I'm doing, shine right here. I'm gonna take a pair of pliers here. And I'm gonna pinch them in the middle. And what that does is it curls everything around some more so that your connections are tighter. All right, and then this one, doing here is we're wiring two 12 volt 7 amp hour batteries and it's important you get the same amp hours into series so that means we're hooking the negative to the positive and the negative to the positive so on our connector the white goes to the positive the black goes to the negative and then with our little connecting wire we hook that from the negative to one battery to the positive on the other and that's how you hook a battery into um, series all right so we're in the voltmeter so what we have here is 12.6, 12.6, 12.5. As we're pumping 25 volts to the rig. Hey, do you want to go faster or you just want regular? Uh, faster. All right. Right here. So we're going to be pumping 24 volts between these two batteries opposed to just the one. Now. Don't do this at home because we're going to blow up the motors, is what I've been told. It's going to be fun. See how these fit. Oh, they don't fit. You're, you're, you're kidding, right? I don't want to blow up the motors. Okay, we'll buy more. Right here. Try this? Put your helmet on. Oh, yes, I would have one. Like last time, we're going to take off the positive here, bringing in our other battery. I'm going to hook that on the positive, right? So this is how we hook things up in um, series, not parallel. 
did parallel, you would have 12 volts and you would be doing positive to positive and the negative to the negative. And then that'll give you 12 volts. And then I think you would get the seven amp hours times two. So the batteries would last a lot longer, but you'd only be pumping 12 volts to the car. In this case, we're putting them in series. So we're bump, we're putting the six, the 12 volt and the 12 volt together and making 24 volts. Um, which we're gonna see how long these motors last before we burn things up. Um, uh, all right, so then the Corvette is ready. You got your hood. Better than 12 volts? Yes. <laughs> yes. Try it again. Just a little bit of running around. These bad boys are 100 and almost 200 degrees. So, um, yeah, that smokes them pretty quickly. I got a feeling I'm gonna burn out these gearboxes real quick. All right, so try and cool the motors down a little bit. We're gonna run them on 12 volts for some time. Um, Hey, you can see here our gears, see those four lines and the holes above that line on the right? So these are 21, 22, 23 geared. So we're gonna go look on the interweb and see what we can find. So just popped out the battery, just gonna run 12 volts in here. In hopes that the motors will last longer. The kids definitely like the faster. And we gotta figure this guy out. So stay tuned for future Busy Bees as we figure out a better gearbox that can handle the torque of 24 volts. Until next time, cheers.